Right, I think it's time to talk about security. And I'm really serious in this video. Really pay attention, watch the whole thing, see if the tokens that you have fit what you need. Okay, I, I harp on and on and on about needing to move your crypto off the exchanges into cold storage. And I want to briefly touch on why and then where to store your crypto. So the reason we want to move our crypto off the exchanges is because when you have bought crypto on exchanges, it's basically their crypto. It's in their custody, right? It's in their wallet. They have, let's talk about XRP. They've got a huge amount of XRP that that exchange has bought. And when you purchase a hundred dollars worth, you basically own $100 worth of their wallet. And they show you all of that on your user interface that makes you look like you own that XRP, but you don't really. If they wanted to stop you withdrawing your money or transferring your money or buying more, you could absolutely do that. They just go, okay, let's click that button. No one's buying XRP anymore. And of course, this is where I actually think things are going. And this could all happen in the short term too. So if they're gonna freeze your assets, is that a good thing? Are you comfortable? with people being able to do that with your crypto. That goes across the board, eToro, Uphold, it goes across all of them. Of course, when you're buying XRP, buy it anywhere you can basically, but immediately move it to a cold storage wallet. Now I am, for the, the vast majority of my investment at this point is in XRP and XLM. For that reason, I have a Ledger Nano X. The Ledger Nano X is right here. You can see it on, it's the left of these two. This is the X and this is the S. You can now get um, the S plus in all these different colors, but don't worry about colors for now. Just worry about the cold storage. And essentially what having a cold storage does is allows you to hold the keys to your crypto. So now all of a sudden you're in custody of your assets. This is the most important thing. As soon as you plug that thing into your computer, you now have access to your crypto. You can buy, sell, withdraw, regardless of what exchanges are doing. And it's your asset. We're gonna get into like the accessories needed to protect this even further. But, but I would be doing an injustice if I didn't talk about those of you who hold XDC or HBAR, you know, these other tokens. And the reason I bring that up is because the Ledger Nano X doesn't hold those tokens. Of course, the links to, to buy any of these that I talk about in this video are in the description just for your convenience. And if you have XDC and HBAR and basically a lot of other tokens, then you might want to consider a Decent wallet. Now, if you come over to products, biometric wallet is the one you wanna look at. And this one will hold all of those other tokens. If you want to see all the coins that are supported, you can come over here, search for all of them here. They do hold XRP, they do hold XLM, they just hold all the additional other ones like XDC. The only reason I have a ledger cold storage is because my two main assets are able to be held in a ledger. And so I chose the ledger purely out of it being the largest and seemingly the safest. I'm not saying Decent isn't the safest, but ledger came to my purview first. And so I, I felt like that meant something. So here's something that Decent doesn't have and another reason why I got a ledger. And this would still work with a, with Decent. I'll explain that in a second. But if you're on the ledger website and you come over to products and go down to accessories, we're gonna keep scrolling and you'll see right here, we've got a crypto steel capsule solo and a bill fodder. This comes from a question I got asked by someone somewhere on social media. And they said, what if my house burns down and it, it destroys everything? What am I gonna do then? Is there any way pr to protect? And the first answer, which he, he he already knew, was to store your keys in different locations, right? That's a that's great practice. But he said, what if I haven't done that? And what if it is in one location and the house burns down? What do you do? And I directed him to the bill fodder. And what the bill fodder does is it protects your 24 word recovery seed phrases. And it puts it all in this like bulletproof, waterproof, fireproof, bombproof, case it's like super heavy metal i do actually have one in my safe i'm not going to get it out just in case seed phrases leak essentially all you do is you slide in these like metal letters you close it up you lock it up and you place it away and even if the house burns down that thing is not getting destroyed and so i suggested to him that maybe he might consider getting two of these putting one of them at his house one of them at another secure location that way his seed phrases even if his ledger got destroyed or his decent wallet got absolutely destroyed and unusable he could still access his crypto using the bill fodder. Again, the link to that is below. And the reason this would still work for the Decent wallet is because Decent uses a 24 phrase recovery phrase system as well. So you could theoretically have a Decent wallet and a bill fodder and just put your passphrase 
in there. And in addition to all of that, once you've got your ledger and you've got your or you've got your descent wallet and you've got your bill fodder, there's something that else that you can do to protect your crypto. Here's what I'd use. This is a Faraday box. It's a signal blocking box. So anytime there's an electrical device in there, it can't be hacked. You know, there's the hackers that use like a uh, wireless hacking system. Well, this cannot be hacked. So I store my cold storage wallet in there. I store my ZAM or Zoom. Not, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. Store my tandem cards in there, and if I have XRP, for example, on the Zoom, Zoom or Zoom app, <laughs> I'm going to use all three. Then the phone that holds that account will also be in here, and I'll have a different phone for my everyday life. Another word on security: the only weakness in the whole system is us. Okay, cold storage wallets are extremely, extremely safe. The problem is that we aren't. We don't act safe. We don't act accordingly. So if I have the Zoom app, for example, I have that app on here and it holds all of my XRP. Yes, all of my XRP is on the XRP ledger. It's very safe there. Like I call it, it's at home in front of the fire with mommy and daddy. It's safe there. However, if you bring that phone out into the real world and you go to Starbucks and there's some guy in the corner just sat there with a device in his pocket or he's on his laptop and that's just scanning the room and just hacking the whole room of all of everyone's crypto, all of a sudden he can now get into your ZAM app. The problem here wasn't him. The problem was bringing your assets with you outside, right? You brought them on your phone. And so I will be getting a new phone very, very shortly. And this phone will hold all the escrow stuff on ZAM and that will go straight into my Faraday box, right? It will be held there and it won't leave. Every application that holds crypto in a wallet or something on my phone will not be on my daily use phone, right? So it's just another little tip for you. Well, let's address the ledger hacks. The ledger hacks came again because the problem was the user. The user saw an email that they thought was from ledger and gave the passphrases, right? Just as a general rule, don't answer any crypto related emails at all. Just delete them straight away. Don't even open them, right? Don't even get to the point where you're reading, being convinced by them. Just delete them. They won't contact you like that. And even if it is real, it's just a good idea. Just in case there has been a hack on their side and a hacker's like latched onto their real email, just don't concern yourself about it. Delete it all and only work with what you see within the Ledger Live app on the computer. And with that said again, it should go without saying don't have the Ledger Live app on the device that comes with you outside. If it means getting a, a burner phone, the burner smartphone, just to have the Ledger Live app linked to that phone only, and it goes in a Faraday box and it doesn't leave with you to go outside, do that. We're not talking about small amounts of money here for your portfolio. Just let's say your portfolio is $1,000 right now, and you're thinking, why would I spend $300 in total on protecting my $1,000? It's because it's not $1,000. That's $10 million that you're looking at, right? Especially if you're in this for the for the long run, as as I hope many of you are. It's a lot of money that you're protecting. And so spending $300 on protecting $10 million is pretty decent, actually. And this could all move relatively soon. But we don't have a crystal ball. Um, but I thought this would be important for everyone to see just exactly how I protect my crypto and some of the best practices that you can use. You can also use... Uh, a VPN on your computer that will protect your IP address, make sure every, all of your browsing is protected and, and encrypted. So a VPN, probably like NordVPN would probably work. The main thing here is just don't bring your crypto with you outside. You are the problem. <laughs> your phone is the liability. Make sure everything stays at home and it's offline, right? From the exchanges, straight onto cold storage, straight offline. You don't need to be worrying about it right now. Um, when it comes to the future, of security of our assets. At some point, we will be actually using the big banks and the institutions to have custody of our crypto in an insured environment to where you actually no longer actually have to worry about having tens of millions in your house, right? Or however much you have. You don't have to have that in your house. You'll have it at the bank. They will be protecting it. It will all be protected by insurance. And then you'll be earning your interest on that. So until then, protect your stuff, make sure it's secure. Follow the links in the description to everything I've talked about in this video. Stay emotionless out there, and I'll see you in the next one.